what's up youtube family how are you guys doing i'm hoping you guys are doing great welcome back to this channel i'm so excited you're here for all the returning subscribers welcome home for the people who've been watching without subscribing remember the lord is watching you please subscribe today <laughs> and also for the people who are new here today my name is betty i'm introducing myself officially i am betty az or oh, mama darren or oh, aka mama darren aka mama nyla and welcome welcome please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and share my videos guys help this channel to keep growing we are almost there 50k subscribers it's by the grace of god don't ask me how i did it it's because you supported me that's why i'm here and i appreciate you that's why i like to say thank you all the time because this one i owe it unto you let me tell you guys how many football guy, uh, fans are here soccer 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 not american football soccer this is your season enjoy the world cup <laughs> remember in qatar we don't drink no girls nothing you just have to be you know you have to you have to behave yourselves no drinking in qatar <laughs> <laughs> anyway this is a football season i love football but i believe watching soccer when you have good company it's fun and when, as, what i mean by good company is when you're watching with someone else it's fun especially when you have some people who are supporting this team and some other people are supporting the other team it's so much fun but i just don't like the heartbreak you know when i'm supporting my team and then my team is not uh it's disappointing oh this the heartbreak let me tell you guys do not ever mess with uh football fun soccer fun because the heartbreak is real and it can get so real to a point over football you can even end up becoming the worst enemies over football so football is like i find like football is like politics you support a, a particular uh you know um if you are you guys know more about you know you know about politics when you when it's especially election period you don't want to talk to anybody about politics discussing but especially if you're not on the same you know on the same side if you don't <laughs> if you don't share the same views oh my god if you try to discuss politics everybody believes in their in their team football the same thing you believe in your team you believe so guys football is more like politics or like religion you know i'm a christian if you come telling me about uh, another religion i'll be like hey i'll be thinking christianity is the best because that is what i believe in that is what i that is what i believe in you know it's a matter of what you believe in and what you love and what you you know so guys eh? do not mess with football fans right now die hard fans huh so i'm not even gonna ask here how many people support this one this team and this team all i'll say enjoy uh this season <laughs> oh yeah so guys also it's gonna be my birthday soon and that's the reason why i did this video my birthday is coming up and you know me i don't hide my age um turning 40 in few months 40 years old nimezeka the other day my son looked at me and said mom you have wrinkles here and i say i have wrinkles he said i think it's because you're getting old mom and i said i'm not getting old hell no don't tell me that i'm getting old i was so, i had to put a straight face on him like at him and i was like don't tell me i'm getting old i am not getting old and my son was looking at me like sorry and i say yeah you don't go to people telling them they're, they're getting old even if i'm old don't say it just say oh you look nice I, I, 40 is a good age you know one thing i like i love about americans they have this sweet juicy way of telling you something 
like if somebody is fat they won't come to you telling you oh you're fat they'll say uh you know oh she's she's a she's quite a heavy a heavy set or she's juicy or she <laughs> you know um i dropped my glasses so you know americans they will come to you tell this they will say something very negative and sometimes uh some people can be very sarcastic in a in a very sweet way and some people can be racist in a try you know switching it to be to sound sound good but they are being racist you know or oh, some people they are being it's they're coming to you as an insult but the way they are coming to you is like they're trying to be so good about it you know so you have to you have to look at that plastic smile and be like mm, okay okay you know like yeah some people can be like that <laughs> so i told my son i say no son you don't tell people that they are old what is old i say what is old i say let me teach you something son life starts at 40 so right now my life is about to start you're not telling me nothing don't tell me nothing son all i know is my life is gonna start at 40. Hmm? <laughs> and my son was looking at me like you old mom you're 40. And I say, no, 40 is not old. Um, 50 is not old either. 60 is leaning towards the older side. 70 is old. 80 is old. 90 is old. You know, like, but what's wrong? You know, there's nothing wrong being old. There is nothing wrong with being... For me, I'm proud of my age. There are so many people who will hide their age. Of course, not everybody. You know, like now, after this birthday. Yes, I'm saying here that I'm turning 40. But let me tell you, uh, don't don't expect me to say my age again. Ever again after. After this birthday, no more. No, my age will always be 40. Okay, guys. Let's... <laughs> okay let me never never hear you say betty are you 42 now or are you 43 44 mm -mm, i don't want you to say that oh betty you're 40 right it, it's it has to stay 40 until even when i'm turning 50 it will stay there at 40 and then surprise betty is 50 anyway i'm proud i'm proud of um aging like sweet wine fine wine how do you say it aging like aging aggressive aging like sweet fine wine i'm so happy i'm i am thankful you know being being here for decades it's a blessing you know let me tell you guys i always say this and it hurts me and up to now i've never i lost a i lost a friend for those people who are watching and um we went to through the same high school this girl and she um you know she we had the baby the same day we called each other in a hospital maternity ward she was in kenya and I, I you know me here her in kenya and we called each other we had baby the same day our babies we delivered the same day the same day on this 24th 2019 and let me tell you guys 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 oh i will tell you one thing um not even a year she died you know and up to now i have never i have never even i've lost relatives i've lost friends i've lost people in my life but this one it did hit different you know those people you've been friends you share you don't even see each other that, that much but you share you talk and there is a place you know you you really love them like you 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 see them like your sister or brother and they are not even your relative this girl we went to the same high school we went to the same uh we had baby the same day we, were, we used to talk a lot and you know what hurt me the most is because i remember the last time i talked to this girl she, i told her i will she told me she's not feeling too good i told her i'll call you i'll call you sometime this week 
uh, and then the, every day I used to think, let me call. I, I'm going to call Sally today. I'm going to call Sally. I'm going to call Sally. I never, I never called her. I don't know why. I used to have this thought of, I need to call Sally. I need to call Sally. See how she's doing. Every time, and I'll be on WhatsApp. I wouldn't even, I'll be like, open WhatsApp, start typing the message and then forget, you know, like get something distract me and I'm like, okay, I'm going to call her tomorrow. And then one day I woke up and I talked to another friend and I said, Hey, how is Sally? Uh, by the way, I'm supposed to call Sally. I haven't called her. How is she doing? And she said, oh, we lost her this morning. What? I was like, are you serious? No, you're not talking about the same person. I call, I was trying to call her phone and it was not, nobody was answering. I text her. It didn't go through. It wasn't, you know, of course, I, I believe somebody else got her phone and maybe they opened the message, but it did hit me i remember i was crying even now every time i think about that girl i i just cry i don't know why i, I just tears come roll over uh, roll out you know down and i don't know it just made me see life different from that point i'm like whoa you mean somebody so young full of life can just go like that and I have never cried like the way I cried after losing Sally. Let me tell you guys, that is something I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. You know, may, somebody may say, oh, you guys, you have not seen each other for a while. And we used to talk. And let me tell you, I don't know. It's just some people you went to high school with. They are like your sisters or your brothers. Maybe if you have a close high school buddy, you know what I mean, you know? So anyway, from that time, after losing my dear friend, she was a friend to many of us. Happy, beautiful, full of life, all smiley, very nice mother, leaving her little children. That's how I started seeing life. Wow. You guys waking up every morning, seeing a new day, it's a blessing. Staying alive, it's a blessing. Just being alive, leave alone anything else, leave alone healthy or whatever, or whatever. Just being alive, seeing a new day, it's a blessing. Number two, it's a blessing to be healthy. Huh? Not even waking up, not, not you are you're you not in a hospital, you are not in a hospital bed, you are not. It's a blessing. It is a blessing. It's a blessing. And and I always tell God, you know, and I feel bad for bringing that story here. And that's, that was just to say how much I appreciate life. Because from that point, I came to under, to realize, hey, yeah. huh? this life, we, we you know, it's like, it's borrowed, you know. we It's like we borrowed this uh, season, being alive, enjoy this life enjoy your days enjoy the days you are alive the days you're healthy enjoy the blessings of god even being a mother is a blessing it is a blessing i remember this lady told me she said betty i spent two million two million kenya shillings looking for this baby if anything happens to this baby i can die you know there are so many things we take for granted in this life. We take for granted. Everything is just natural. It's natural to have a baby. It's natural. I remember I lost an aunt, my auntie, an auntie of mine. My auntie, um, she died having delivering. She was healthy. She was everything. But the day she was having the baby, she had a blood pressure high. And then the doctors, they did surgery and complications after that you know like negligence and that's it very young oh that was another one that was another one that hit me different because this is you know somebody so young full of life but during delivery that's it she did not make it even the baby died both of them the baby died because they, the hospital ended up putting a baby in a room where the kids were sick and then the baby got some infections and they, you know, we lost both of them. This video is not talking about people who died. <clears throat> this video is talking about appreciating the fact that the Lord has brought us, appreciating the life, appreciating 
what God has given us, the life, uh, the health, <clears throat> family, friends, everything appreciating what god has given us and for me i appreciate the 40 decades the four decades hey 40 decades the four decades you know i really thank god and i really want to say this god help me on this 40th birthday i want to enjoy it i really want to enjoy it and i want you guys to give me um ideas because i honestly don't know what to do on my 40th birthday I am thinking, I have three ideas. I'm thinking of either doing a party in my house or either going to a restaurant to eat out with friends or going on a vacation with my kids. Just give me your advice, please, guys. What do you think I should do to celebrate my 40th birthday? God willing, God willing, I'm believing I will see that day because I always pray to God, Lord God Almighty. I pray to see tomorrow. I pray to be to reach the age is on miyakaza uzeeni and I have faith, you know. So, guys, let me know on the comment section. Um, <clears throat> what do you think I should do? Go out with friends have a party at my house or have a vacation with my kids uh -huh. another thing <coughs> sorry allergy season <coughs> sorry guys <coughs> another thing is um at this age being 40 yes i yes i said 40 is not old but at this age you realize hosting is a, it becomes a problem going out becomes a problem like late um in the evening actually as soon as you turn 30 you realize you're getting lazy to even go out and like party you are not a spring chicken anymore so for me going out is a problem like going staying out for long like at in the end out you know some people they have a lot of energy even when they are they are they are 50 they still even 60 they still go out and party <laughs> for me my energy i i don't know i honestly i'm not the kind of person that really enjoys going out and staying long and then oh sacrifice my sleep for what outing no so for me when i say going out with friends i mean going out i can go party that day uh but you see it's not my thing um i can i prefer if you ask me to go partying i prefer to go to a restaurant fine dine like go go to a really good restaurant eat fine dining everything but not partying like clubbing uh -uh. also another thing is for me hosting has started being a problem i don't know why all of a sudden i'm so lazy to host people in my house uh i'm just thinking about the cleaning after and the after you know like the after i love i love people i love people and having friends over but i just started being lazy all of a sudden cooking and entertaining guests and having guests like so many guests in my house i feel like it's becoming is it age or what is pro the problem with me exactly is it the age or is it a period or a season that comes you just feel like you don't want to you don't want to bother entertaining people you don't want to have people in your house like not because you don't want people in your house if you know what i mean you don't want to have a party in your house hey cleaning the mess after can be a something especially if you have friends that are drinking as you are picking up cups that oh my god the mess is it me or the age or betty is getting old we say nobody's getting old here <laughs> we say nobody's getting old so i'm not getting old i should i uh, know hosting is i uh, hosting is work hosting is a lot of work if you know you know if you know you know guys hey hosting is a lot of work so let me know in the comment section what do you think i should do at my 14th birthday it's not right now it's actually next year but um january you guys will you'll definitely know when it comes i don't know i feel like uh, it will be a good idea for me to just go to a really fancy holiday destination with my children but that would depend you know uh because january the kids will be at school and so much going hey motherhood is another thing you can't even just wake up and go to a vacation you have to think about kids being at school and i'm here to say i'm a sisaeki a pana sisaeki 
Oh my god, guys, I'm trying to wear my glasses because I'm about to head out. I'm going to this car wash here. There's a car wash right there. And I'm going to car wash, wash my car, and go get busy, go to work. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section. And take care, guys. I love you all. Bye.